welcome back. Uh, here we are once again uh, with part two of uh, War on the Sea, Pacific Theater. Again, uh, the last video was really long. Um, I've been having some allergy issues. So if I sneeze, I apologize, uh, but that's part of life. Um, what am I going to do? So let's uh, welcome everybody back and uh, all the uh, masses that uh, watch my videos. Ha ha ha. Um, we're going to see if we can, uh, you know, get, get some stuff going here today. Um, so what we see down here is we have the, uh, the British invasion force here. Um, we have the Hermes. Um, what we're going to do with the Hermes is we're going to launch all her aircraft um, as cover uh, because I don't want to be uh, attacked by this uh, Tarawa base. Um, so we are going to keep a heavy cap over this um, invasion force. Uh, because I want to land and uh, I want to uh, keep my ship safe. So of the two groups of martlets that we have, uh, this one is going to land here pretty shortly, but they should be going right back up. Um, again, the one I just launched, there's 12, so we'll have you know 18 here shortly. Um, but we're going to send them in. And the reason why Tarawa, uh, it has a level three airfield. Now, if we get in and we find out that we're overmatched, what we're going to do is we're probably going to use uh, maybe the Nelson uh, to bombard and, uh, any other ships that can bombard. But I'd rather not have to do that. So when I land these, uh, these troops, let's see how many we got here. 17... Uh, let's say 2,000, 2,100, uh, 2,300. Um, that may be about. Let's see. Let's hope for half, but I, I'm not expecting that. So let's let's send them in, and we're gonna see what we can get it, get out of this. Um, <clears throat> and uh, maybe we'll get a uh, little invasion going on. I did say before I was going to wait uh, uh, until these guys uh, come in, but we are going to relocate, uh, change them a little bit um, to come off right about here. And this guy, of course, we are going to send him over here as well um, so that we can get these guys in. Um, back again to this guy here, fuel, supplies, troops. Supplies, supplies, those guys really can't carry anything, but if they can, you put something on it, right? So more supplies, the reason why we did more supplies is because we want to have heavy supplies over our troops so that they don't uh, degrade. Um, let's make sure everybody is doing something that we want them to do here. Um, let's send up another launch of these. We're going to do eight because I like the rotation. Uh, I don't want them to uh, have no cap um, air cover. So while one is landing, there'll still be somebody else up. That's why I'm doing them in groups, smaller groups. Um, so if we see here again, we look. These guys are going to land in 84 nautical miles of time, 12 there. And then these guys will be up for 8, um, 606. So uh, the other group should land and take right off again. So let's see, let's see what we can get out of this. Uh, we are again making our way with our submarines um, to a more beneficial location. Uh, hopefully from there we can spread them out a little bit better. But let's, let's get the ball rolling, shall we? Back to the Wasp, just taking another quick look. Um, you no, 
no reason not to launch the rest. Uh, we're gonna send a, send up the rest of the fighters. Um, again, there's nothing really to protect other than the carrier, so we want to make sure that the, the carrier is well protected and um, have a good rotation going on. And speed it up again, Hermes. Uh, you have all your fighters up, I believe. Yeah, all the fighters are up, so we're just going to keep an eye on them. doing that but okay all right we'll just see what happens and down here uh, where's Port Marsby I'm not going to bother sending up any more aircraft. There's not enough there to, to bother with. Um, so we're just going to keep going. And hopefully nothing bites us hard. Again, uh, we're going in under darkness now. Um, can we unload our aircraft, our, our troops? Not yet. All right, so 2356 and 2300, and we are gonna course them right out again. Uh, we are gonna go this way. Um, 11 hours, so in three hours we'll be able to send up our cap again. And, uh, and hopefully that will do it. Uh, what did we, what kind of impact did we have on Tarawa? Not a lot. Okay, so um, if anything, we're, we're going to be short. So we're going to have to hustle back and get more troops. Um, we may have overextended ourselves. Uh, in fact, let's do a, uh, help these guys out a little bit. If it was like half, I wouldn't do this. Um, but yeah, that's not doing it either. Uh, two. Um, might as well. We're heading back afterwards, so let's just do the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to do it. That's some feedback on that. Explosions. Uh, that didn't even bring it down to one. That's all right. I don't think we can do another one. No. So that's fine. Um, there's no ships in the area for us to be worried about. But as soon as we get to daylight, we'll have our cap up again. So let's see what we got here for cap. Um, four, that's not enough. And watch, it's not going to let me uh, launch. It will. We'll do that. And this guy. These guys are launching aircraft to harass our guys here. Um, I'm not worried about it. We will let them send their aircraft. Uh, 
are you kidding? I, I could actually just uh, put these guys on the deck to save them. That guy's fine. This guy, I'm going to send you uh, home because these guys are going to come out and capture him and I don't want to lose the plane. So let's do that. It may be ready to launch aircraft. Uh, okay. Um, go to. Okay, so we have our first engagement here um, with some fighters, and um, we're just going to begin. And uh, hopefully the martlets can. Uh, what do we have here? We have four and twelve. Now to be sure that I. I uh, that uh, these guys are taken care of. We're gonna send up the other four. Again, I don't wanna lose any aircraft off this uh, CVL. So we're just going all out here. And we're gonna begin and see what happens. So we have more than enough aircraft. Um, what do I want to do? Uh, I want to probably turn these guys. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go, um, everybody, and I want to go into, a, let's say, a, just a little bit of turn. Uh, so that we can uh, keep these guys straight. And our aircraft, I guess we'll just leave them to do their own devices. Let's see what happens. So we have uh, dive bombers and more dive bombers. So is that just six? I'm going to go a quick check on these guys and see if they are attacking different airplanes. It says there's 12. Wow, there's a whole bunch of torpedo planes. So we are going to um, let them do their thing. Make sure I'm not losing a lot of aircraft. There's one martlet down. Martlets are doing really good. Kind of liking them. guy doing over here. Two martlets down. I'm not liking this uh, 
this group here. Now they're all gonna they're all gonna take these guys down. So let's get a view. Make sure everybody's not going after the same aircraft. Looks like they all want the same aircraft, so let's change this up a bit. So, two can go for this guy. Three can go for this guy. I'll let him go for him as well. And then uh, we'll go to the next group. So you go after him. You go after him. Uh, you go after him. And I'm going to send you after him as well. So we do have enough aircraft for this. And then, yeah, you just, you don't have to do this in the game. I kind of, I don't mind it. <laughs> That's just my play style. see how, how this works out for our guys. Like to get these guys all uh, doing their thing. Make sure my ships are not uh, colliding with one another. Um, I'm going to give them another turn. dog. She likes to be part of the group and have fun, so we're going to say hi to my dog every so often. Um, let's see how these marlets deal with these uh, torpedo planes. I know, these are bombers. 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 We already got rid of the torpedo planes. Okay. See how they fare with our. Actually, let's go back to you. And then we can just watch the, the, the incoming. We'll just see how far, far it goes like that. How about it? How about it? So we should just see them falling out of the sky. Hopefully. They do their job. They're coming in, smoking. There's one. So the first pass was not very good. Uh, we'll accept it. They're doing their job. I don't want any bombs to be dropped on my ships.
Nice. And I believe that's everybody. So Hermes there, uh, you did a very good job protecting your ships. Um, not much needed to happen there. But uh, we're going to have to send you home. So we'll, we'll wait for the uh, air cover to get in, into position. And then we will uh, we'll get out of here. Make sure we got all the... 24 planes, two losses. We'll deal with that. Not bad, not bad, guys. So now the next position for the, the for this guy is um, we're gonna have a we're gonna keep the cap until we're out of the zone of uh, radar. So let's let this let this go a little bit. So, did my Air Cobra get caught? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say there's 12 enemy, if not more. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna RTB, so he runs away. This guy here, P40, um, he should probably return as well. So we're going to send him home, and uh, we're going to go into this engagement. Um, now the P-40 can't outrun. So we're going to try and put him on as fast as he can go and put him on the deck. Uh, these P-39s, on the other hand, uh, they can... Um, they, they, they can pretty much take care of themselves. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to send them away. But the, the P-40, we want him to be on the deck. And these guys, I want this way. Away from the P-40 as much as possible. Just want to protect him as best I can see if we got any sightings so 338 and 290s his max he can only go 290 let's get him as low as he can go and we're just going to oh yeah, yeah. yep yeah, that's one thing I forgot to do I forgot to take off the tack button. Um, so if you didn't know, um, if you have problems changing the course, all you have to do is give it another direction and then hit like your A key makes the uh, direction go away and then you can select where you want it. Um, but I don't want him to get involved in an attack. so. All these guys, you need to run away. So we're gonna do this, change it, and then we are going to go here. Um, on the deck. I'm not gonna play with these guys right now. So I'll make sure everybody's going their speeds. See what this guy is. He's a uh, he's a zero. I don't think he can keep up with us, so we are just going to not worry about him. The 
the reason why we're not going to worry about him is because I'm afraid that there's more than just two aircraft. I don't know where that other guy went off to, but uh, we're going to leave him in the dust and just uh, carry on with our day because we don't want to play that game. So. And these guys are all returning to base, so we're just going to let them do that. Um, all right, moving on. I'm going to send up these guys and send them this way uh, just to do a little reconnaissance there. We just want them to, if these guys are still being chased, we'll be able to maybe engage. No, they're, I don't think they are. So continuing on, did I speak too soon? I'm not overly concerned with uh, these planes flying overhead. We don't have enough aircraft to uh, take care of that situation. Uh, so we're just going to let them do their thing. I'm more concerned with this guy getting out of danger area. I watched a uh, really cool movie today. Um, Greyhound. With Tom Hanks excellent movie if you haven't seen it uh, yeah give it a shot it's pretty good um, I always say that uh, we never really get good Navy movies I don't think uh, Pearl Harbor was a very good movie um, Midway was a pretty good movie I thought um, could have been better but yeah I thought that was pretty good These guys here, I'm a little concerned with uh, Port Moresby. Um, yeah, that's going to take another trip, but we're, we can't play with that now. We're going to have to maybe put our submarines over there to protect. Um, moving on. Mm -hmm. So this guy, I want to do a course correction. You're going to be doing this. Um, because I want these ships to be uh, covered. So we're going to send this guy out to be on uh, Supply Group 1 Tarawa. Uh, so that that is a thing. I don't want you there. I want you at uh, Tarawa. Let's see if he goes. Yeah, I don't know why it has that circle around it. And then when they get closer, we'll send in others, uh, other aircraft. Um, these guys are going to land. These guys are going to be up. Um, We'll let that happen, I guess. And moving on. All right, what do we got going on here? Horn Island. Uh, again, this guy, I don't really want him to get engaged. Uh, he can outrun zeros, so if he, we get engaged, we can run away. And uh, we'll do that to the edge of the radar or engagement area, if that's the case. Um, yeah, he's just going home. Good riddance to you. I'm 
not really an engagement, so we're not going to worry about it. Um, although, yeah, Lightning King travels, so I'm, I'm not overly concerned uh, with them. It's the Warhawks, the Kitty Hawks, that uh, can't outrun the Zeros, so I'm concerned with that. Uh, but just to try and make... Um, Just to try and make things, uh, get some cinematics in here before we, there we go. Why'd that sound like uh, something was shooting? So as we look at this, uh, where, I'm hearing something. So as we uh, end this video, I want to say thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you're liking the, vi the video. So I'm going to try and limit it to around 30 minutes uh, from right now on. It might be more videos, but uh, maybe you'll like it that way better. But we'll see what happens. Again, I'm still not doing any editing. Uh, if you guys want editing, um, yeah, I'm gonna, you're going to have to recommend me to a editing software and how to do it and maybe I'll get into that later but we'll see so uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in part three